Welcome to the Vale. It is the Vale, even though it looks like someone hand wrote this in. Can't imagine why they actually did this sign without the the in, but it is the Vale. We'll probably never know why they left the, the out and someone went and wrote it in. But we are here when the cars have gone past to find something called Guy Jack. Let's go see if we can find it. You found me on another overcast day in Mauritius. Seems like whenever I go out, there's never any sun shining. First, a little history on the Vale. The Vale is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. There'll be a map you'll be able to see. It's not much, and yet they have a lot of street food here, a lot of shops. Now, they have one of the biggest mechanical centers here, so maybe it's something to do with that, or maybe it's because this is the through fare, the main through fare from Grand Bay to uh, Goodland. So everyone comes through in the morning from Goodland to go work in Grand Bay and they stop for some snacks. This is the mechanic and he's always full. You can never get a booking with him. The place is so deep with cars. I know there must be about 20 in there at the moment. Uh, all types, he does them all. But I don't think that's the re real reason that there's so much good street food here. Looks like a big center that never really became anything. Okay, well, let's carry on. This is the Vale, it has other hidden secrets and we're gonna find them all. Okay, this is our first look at some street foods. A beautiful glass container with some things in it. Uh, well, let's see if we can get some. Okay, I'm getting some bacha. Bacha, bacha. 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 Yeah, the nice. postman says it's very nice, so it must be. <laughs> Mustn't show the postman. With some chutney. Very good. Okay, thank you. So, we're getting four bacha. It was 10 rupees for my bacha from here. Uh, I'll show you more where it is in a minute, but let's see what it's like. I've got extra chutney on, it looks like a bit of chili. Mm. If all the food is this good, I'm going to get very fat on this trip. Thank you. You guys have got to come try it. Okay, so we've been invited for some biryani tomorrow, so maybe we'll be able to make it 11 o'clock tomorrow. Let's see what it's like. As you can see, there are tons of vegetables here as well. So people can stop and get some vegetables, some apples, some fruit. And it looks like the fruit doesn't stop there. We even have some here. So it seems like fruit is the best thing here at the moment. But let's carry on. Oh, there's some more things up ahead. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like we got some sweet things here. Maybe for some pudding. We might have to come back and get some dessert. Okay, so those were some sweets. And up ahead we have some more things. Some Dol Puri special, some Ferratas. Well, let's go have a look. Bonjour, bonjour. Oh, okay, everyone. I'm getting a mave. Yes, please. So a mave with some chutney, only ten rupees. Not sure what it is. It looks crispy, but we'll get to find out in a minute. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. now that looks good. Thank you. Okay, it seems like this is the place to be. Everyone is here. I got my mave with some extra chutney. Oh, oh, it's really crunchy. Bonjour, bonjour. Mmm. Mave, it's like a crunchy bread type thing. With, with a little bit of chutney spice, it's very nice. It is a bit oily, and the chutney is not too strong, but nice enough. Well, I'm finishing my mave. If you have a look across the street, they're making some rotis. So this place is full of stuff. Still no guy jack, but I'm sure we'll find some soon. Our mave is nearly finished. Mm, it's been very nice, and it's crispy right to the last. But as you can see behind me, there's a shop. Now, normally this would be open, but because it's a Friday, everyone's gone to mosque. So, we missed out on a couple of foods. Now, this might surprise you, but you don't find this in Mauritius everywhere. That is a rubbish bin. They're really rubbish. It's easy, guys. I put these out, but I think this is done by the Vale residents. Because no other city has one, and I really think you guys should. Here come some cars, but right next to the road, there's sugarcane growing. Obviously this is someone's little plantation, but every little bit helps. I would love to be able to have a piece of this, but apparently you're not allowed to sell it. There's more to the veil than meets the eye, and we'll get to see a little bit of it in a minute. The sun is now finally out, so let's enjoy it. So everyone who comes to explore veil, don't come on a Friday afternoon. A lot of the places are closed. But this one looks open, let's go see if it's promising. Okay, they had some stuff there, but it wasn't Guy Jack, or I don't know what it was. It looked more like a meal, and I don't really need to eat anything, just looking for some snacks. 
although I have eaten quite a few already, but you know, they're all snacks, so let's carry on with the adventure. Okay, up ahead is a bit of a temple. They're normally brightly colored, but maybe this is a subdued one. So maybe they're still fixing it because they normally put a lot of fancy colors onto them. And at the moment, this one doesn't have. Just up ahead is one of those hidden gems I've been telling you about. But before we get there, why don't I show you a little weirdness? That is a boat. For those who don't recognize it, it's a boat. And we are, the sea is like five kilometers that way. So I can't imagine why a boat would be here, but it's the Vale. And so, you know, where you've got one boat, why not have another? This is one of the weird places I told you about. They're doing some sort of wood reclamation here. And it says hot five pot. Hot five pot. They did some cooking or something here, maybe a restaurant. This looks like it could be a sit-down restaurant at some point. They're doing some reclamation. And there's the boat. I don't really want to go too far in because I saw a rock baller. And this might actually be someone's house. So let's not do too much. But look at that boat. Like two of them. But this I think was probably a restaurant at some point. Who knows? Uh, one of those veil secrets. There are others. There are more to the veil. Let's go find out. Said there were rock violas. There's one. And there's the other one. They are collared, so they are owned. But look at them. So friendly. What a friendly dog. Good boy, good boy. Okay. Maybe a little bit scared of me. You guys will be surprised by how much traffic has been going down this road. I tried to get my, my speeches in the interludes of the traffic, but it is a real through fair. And that's probably why there's so much street food. But not just so much, such good quality street food. It really is like some of the best I've eaten in Mauritius. And that includes places like Grand Bay, even Goodlands. This is the village to come through for, for your street foods. You see these containers? This is part of the Vale secret, but we'll get to it. We have now arrived at one of those weirdnesses. This is a greenhouse on top of a roof. Well, Mauritius, you don't actually need glass, but what you do need is a mesh to keep the insects out. I think, unfortunately, it's broken now, but they would have produced a lot of tomatoes here in the day. It seems like the Vale has become known for its garages. This one just closed for mask. They seem to be everywhere, so maybe the Vale has just become a place, a place for garages. I love that almost everywhere you go in Mauritius, Someone's got a spare garden that they're growing some vegetables on. Uh, these ones I've always wanted to try. I've seen them in the market. Can't remember what they're called, yakko or something. But everywhere there's spare ground, someone's growing something if they're interested. And then here, someone's spray painting cars. Here we are in a real modern development in the middle of the Vale. As you can see, this is downtown Vale. It's, it's, a, it's a nice enough place. But to have something like this, I mean, glass, concrete, the natural stone from Mauritius, not being built at the moment, maybe something weird has happened here. Look at it all. It is going to be a place. I wonder what happened. Another veil mystery. Just a little bit left to do, but they can't finish it. We are just off a main road, uh, a little bit further back there. If you heard the rest of the video, it was loud, it was chaotic, there was lots of traffic. But here it's actually kind of peaceful. So I think that's probably why they built these places here. And you know, my house was here, I wouldn't be un unhappy. There's great food just down the road. A couple of nice restaurants, really friendly people. Up ahead is the mosque. Uh, as you saw at the new mosque, which was further up there, they have these containers outside. And now this is one of the secrets of the veil. Now, I don't know if these are always here, and unfortunately we've come at just the wrong time because mosque is in session. But I saw earlier them opening them up, and there were bags and bags of grain in here. Uh, food, food for hundreds of people, probably enough to feed the whole of Vale. So maybe this is from the mosque, dolling this out to the hungry. Surprisingly, the Vale is a lot bigger than it looks. Uh, sun's finally out again, so it's starting to get hot again. What a place! Who thought this tiny little blip on the map would actually be something? So, final thoughts on the Vale. Couldn't find any Gajak. Well, you can't have everything. 
but I'll have to come back and try it again see if I can't find some what I can say about the veil I will probably be back for that briyani tomorrow